Hey again, welcome to our last day. I hope uh, you guys have an amazing summer. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Um, it's hard to believe that we've been doing this since the middle of March. This will be the 71st read aloud that we've done uh, from home here, or from my home, to you guys. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the read alouds and the, the different ones we've we've brought to you, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, um, whether it was a person as a character or animals, and I hope you guys do a ton of reading over the summer. And for our last book of the year, we're gonna do Last Day Blues. And this is by Julie Danneberg. Here we go. On the Monday morning before the Friday that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell took attendance. She sighed as she called out the last name. I'm going to miss all of you, she said. The kids nodded in agreement. I'm going to miss my friends, said Shannon. I'm going to miss Daisy, said Dan. I'm going to miss chocolate milk and pizza for lunch, said Joe. Everyone felt a little blue thinking about the last day of school, even Daisy. That afternoon during recess, the students talked about as the students talked as they hung out on the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell said she's going to miss us, said Alexandra, swinging from a bar. We should get a present to cheer her up, said Eddie, hanging upside down by his knees. I could give her the rest of my sandwich. It's my mom's bologna special, said Josh. Or a coffee cup, or a new pen, the kind with feathers and beads. The students thought and thought, but couldn't come up with one single idea that they all agreed on. We'll think of something tomorrow, Eddie assured everyone as they lined up at the drinking fountain. On the Tuesday before the Friday that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell read the final page of their last read aloud book. I'm going to miss circle time, said Mrs. Hartwell. I'm going to miss science, said Emily. I'm going to miss seeing Mrs. Hartwell wear her safety goggles during science, said Jack, giggling. And so before they got too sad, Mrs. Hartwell put on her safety goggles one last time, just for fun. We definitely need to cheer Mrs. Hartwell up, said Andy during recess, as he jumped out of a swing. Any ideas about a present? Eddie asked. No, they all answered back. On the Wednesday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Mrs. Hartwell brought in her super duper sugar cookies with extra frosting. I'm going to miss snack time but I can't wait for barbecues by the pool, said Jack. I'm going to miss recess, but I can't wait to play hide and seek outside after dinner, said Alexandra. I'll miss school, but I can't wait for summer vacation, said Josh. The class discussed their summer plans and drowned their last day blues with another round of milk and sugar cookies. I don't know whether to be happy or sad today, Andy said the minute they all arrived at the jungle gym. Mrs. Hartwell is sad, said Olivia. She probably doesn't want the year to end. While we're swimming, she'll be reading her old lesson plans, said Walker. And while we're playing, she'll be trying to remember the fun times we had this year, said Dan. And that's when an idea zip zapped and zinged through Eddie's brain. I know exactly what will cheer her up, Eddie said, jumping down from the jungle trim. The class agreed, it was perfect. On the Thursday before the Friday, that was the last day of school, Eddie raised his right hand <laughs> Eddie raised his hand right after Mrs. Hartwell started language arts. We need some privacy, please, he said. And so Mrs. Hartwell took down bulletin boards with her back to the class. She never even peeked. Well, only once. <laughs> On the morning of the Friday that was the Friday that was the last day of school, the students dashed into the classroom. They snapped open the shades for the very last time. They did their chores for the very last time. They fed Daisy for the very last time. And as soon as the bell rang, they couldn't wait for Mrs. Hartwell to see her present for the very first time. <clears throat> the last day of school makes us so blue. We'll miss recess and pizza and reading too. We'll miss Daisy and cookies and friendship true. Snack time and science and learning new. We'll miss spelling bees for our test review and groundhogs that play peek a -boo. The year has been great, a big wahoo. There are many things to miss, it's true, but mostly what we'll miss is you. Later on during recess, Eddie said, I 
think Mrs. Hartwell liked her present. I just hope it helps, Margaret said. Poor Mrs. Hartwell, they all said sadly as they pictured their final goodbye. Teachers must hate the last day of school. And then it was time. The bell rang. Goodbye, the students called as they rushed out the door. Goodbye, Mrs. Hartwell called after them. And then she returned to her empty classroom. It's just you and me, Daisy, she said. I'm sure going to miss them this summer. But I can't wait for vacation. And just like you guys, we're going to enjoy our vacation too. But the truth is, <clears throat> after three and a half months of being apart, um, it's, been, it's been hard to be away from you guys. And I can't wait to see uh, all of my students back when we uh, regroup at McGinn, whenever that time may be, hopefully September. Um, you guys have been so impressive and so amazing with the work that you've done during at-home learning. Um, I'm proud to be the teacher of all of you. My fourth graders, I wish you the best of luck at Terrell or wherever it may be that you're headed. Read this summer. Take a little bit of time, kick back, throw yourself into that book. Pretend you're a character. Pretend you're on the adventure. Learn something. Whatever you do, just read a little bit. And I'll be thinking of you, and I'll see you back at school soon. Bye, McGinn.